We have some breaking news on Texans today. Houston has traded wide receiver Brandon Cooks to the Dallas Cowboys. Now, Cooks has been in trade rumors since this past season's trade deadline. He was expected to get moved, and this Sunday morning, the news is official. And we're always going to have you covered when Texans news breaks. So go down and subscribe to the channel. We just recently relaunched our Texans channel here at Chat Sports, and the more subs we get, the more content you get back at home. So subscribe to the channel right now by hitting the subscribe button below as we take a look at these trade details. The Texans getting a fifth-round pick this year, a sixth-round pick next year. The Cowboys get a number two wide receiver uh, to pair next to C.D. Lamb. Uh, they were in the market for a wide receiver. They get Cooks, and the Texans are going to send them six million dollars in salary so the cowboys are going to pay 12 million dollars of cook salary this year texans are going to pick up the tab on a third of that who won the trade type hou for the texans or dal for the dallas cowboys down in the comment section it is the pinned comment uh, so reply to it when uh, you get a second i think this is a good deal for both sides it's clear that the texans wanted to move on from cooks both sides wanted to move on and you get two draft picks for cooks and i get it you might have been able to get a third or a fourth for him and you probably would have gotten a third round pick for him had he traded him at the deadline but still you get two draft picks uh, for a wide receiver that was just not going to be a part of your team uh, going forward now he was traded to dallas for two picks he played the last two seasons in houston and you know, ever since last year's trade deadline, it was pretty clear that Cooks was not going to be a Texan for much longer. Uh, he was not happy about not getting moved and uh, did not handle that situation well. I believe missed a practice and then was stripped of his captaincy after the NFL trade deadline. So Cooks is out. Let's take a look at the updated Texans wide receiver depth chart. Nico Collins is going to be getting a lot of targets. You got Robert Woods in free agency on a two-year deal, and then John Mechie is expected to be back. You know, hopefully he's doing well in his recovery. You also have Noah Brown, uh, so you have a good young core here in this wide receiver room, and I do expect the Texans to draft a wide receiver, uh, potentially at number 12 overall. That's not the only breaking news that we have this morning. Laramie Tunsil has reached agreement on a contract extension, three-year extension uh, for the Texans starting left tackle, who is one of the best offensive tackles in the modern era. Ian Rappaport, the first to report. Texan star Laramie Tunsil is once again the highest paid tackle in NFL history, securing a three-year deal worth $75 million with $50 million, $50 million fully guaranteed and $60 million in total guarantees. The blindside protector does a true reset on the market. He represented himself, so Tunstall does not have an agent, no agent fees. Uh, he's going to be taking home a lot of money here. Now, he was traded from Miami prior to the 2019 season. Texans giving up two first-round picks to get that done. Uh, just six sacks a lot in four seasons with Houston. I mean, he has been a top-tier left tackle in all of football. And uh, what's also included in that new contract is a $30 million signing bonus. Uh, so Laramie Tunstall is going to be able to enjoy some breakfast tacos. Uh, this morning, Houston, Texas, <laughs> because $30 million uh, just hit his uh, bank account. Maybe he'll hit up Papa Doe later, too. What's your one-word reaction to the Tunsil extension? Uh, go down in the comments section. Let me know. My one word is smart. Now, I know that he's been in some trade rumors recently. The Chiefs, apparently, were one of the teams that expressed interest in him. Uh, but I just think it's smart locking this guy up. Uh, for the long term because yeah you might have been able to get a high draft pick for him but you're going to be drafting a rookie quarterback you want that rookie quarterback to have a good offensive line in front of him you want him to be in the best possible position to succeed with weapons and with more importantly even an offensive line so you have Laramie Tunsil you trade for Shaq Mason uh, this offensive line is going to be looking pretty good I think Next season for Houston, I think they should draft a center, but it's smart. It would not have made any sense to trade Laramie Tunsil. You have a young quarterback coming in. You want him to have one of the best left, left tackles in football. Again, subscribe to the channel. We're going to have you covered when Texans news breaks. YouTube.com slash Texans TV.